I've just uh, gone into the BIOS by pressing the deletes key. And the first thing I've noticed is that my RAM speed has defaulted down to 4,800, whereas it should be at 6,000. But I think that happened because I did a chipset update. Um, oh no, hang on. Memory frequency is 6,000. Oh well, maybe, who knows. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a photograph of a number of the pages. This is the simple page uh, and I'm going to go to the more complex one, which I access by going to this, the advanced mode. And then I can go through various things like favorites and tweaker and just check these settings here. This is all before I do the BIOS update or upgrade. OK, I've now gone into the Gigabyte Control Centre. I'm going to click on the MS MB BIOS. And its firmware is F31. Right. Right, so we now wait to see what happens. I'm filming this in real time so you can see how long it takes to do. Right, so everything's gone off, but now it's switched back on again. There we are, updating BIOS now, 3%. And the previous version was F21. Now, of course, this is where you wouldn't touch anything on your keyboard. You leave the computer just to run through the process. A lot of people get very jittery about updating the BIOS. When I did it last time, it was very straightforward. Um, but I have looked and um, on the internet and some people are quite derogatory about this, but from my personal experience, provided you're sensible about it, it's been very straightforward. As I said earlier, I'm going to leave this to run in real time so it gives you a feel for how long it takes. So if you want to whiz forward and see what happens at the end, then feel free to do it. I'm sitting here at my computer desk trying to hold my, my um, phone steady as it's recording. Now I have to say that when I went on the uh, Gigabyte website and looked at my motherboard, there were a lot of other updates between F21 and where I am now, F31. But a lot of them didn't seem all that major. This one seemed to include a couple of aspects that I thought were maybe important to do with the DD 
uh, R5 and that might affect the memory because I have on one or two occasions when I've been running a complex program had to crash to desktop and that's sometimes caused by an instability in your RAM and I'm running it at 6000 megahertz which is pushing it to the absolute limit there is a view in some cases that you're better running it below 6000 if it's your maximum 6000 and playing safe right that's done reboot This, of course, is the moment when you're really anxious because you're waiting now for the computer motherboard to kick into life. I have noticed recently, if I don't use my computer for a while, it sometimes takes a while to boot up. But once I've got it running, it boots up fairly quickly. Um, you know, if I kind of like shut it down and then start it the same day. <laughs> so I'm learning to be very patient now. But obviously, if there was a problem, this would be when, you know, you'd be kind of panicking now. You'd be thinking this is taking a while and fiddling about, maybe touching something. But I'm just resisting the temptation because I know from past experience just to wait. What you can do sometimes is you can look at the motherboard and there is an indication of what it's going through. There's various kind of LEDs that indicate the checking process that's taking place. So here am I holding my phone, staring at a blank screen. But you just have to be patient and um, believe everything's running according to plan. There we go. You see, that's promising. But that picture, that icon looked a little bit different to the one I remember seeing before. Yeah, definitely smaller. There we are, and that's it. So it's taken about seven or eight minutes overall, but I'm going to check and I'll come back in a second. Well, that's interesting. The Gigabyte Control Center kicked in again and started uh, installing the Norton Internet Security. Well, that's naughty because that's the last thing I want. Let's get rid of that. I wasn't going to install all these other bits and pieces, but anyway, it's gone ahead and it's installing the Gigabyte Storage Library. I'm not sure what that does. And it's installed everything else, including this, which I don't use anyway, but I made the mistake of, I don't know, maybe I made the mistake of leaving them it ticked. I definitely don't want Norton on my computer. Let's go back to this as a red light. <laughs> I don't want you. There we are. Good. There we are. I don't need another update. 